Remember Soho Karen? Yeah, well, she has now pleaded guilty. Let me remind you of the incident. Here it is. Show me, this is my phone. Show me, no. You don't have to explain nothing to her. It's a case off, that's mine. Literally, get it back. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No, okay, then show me the show. No, me you my get, get a life. Over yeah, there. No, What's on your back around? You better go use find, find My iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find My iPhone is off. Can, off now, right? No, no, you can't. No. I'm the manager of the hotel. Yes, I don't yes, care. He will, this is right my now. son. Hey, did you see me just come downstairs by the Elevator. I'm trying to help. Man. No, but you're not helping. I am. What you mean is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle this no. situation. Wait, I'm, I'm my son has nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Let's go, Kim. Okay? Let's go. Okay. I need to get on. I'm sorry. Get on. We have what you see. You see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. She has now pleaded guilty. Let's put up her picture. This is Maya Pancero, AKA Soho Karen. All right, she pleaded guilty on Monday to unlawful imprisonment as a hate crime for her falsely accusing the then 14 year old Keon Harold Jr. of stealing her cell phone and then attacking him at the hotel. This was back in December 2020 when viral everybody remembers this. So let me give you some background to what's gonna happen. So while Pancetto is already on probation in her home state from a separate case, she is avoiding jail time for this case as part of this guilty plea. Back in June, she initially pleaded not guilty to the hate crime charges. Now, according to CBS News, under the conditions of her plea deal, Pancetto will be required to continue counseling, avoid interaction with the criminal justice system, and follow the terms of her probation from a separate California case. If she maintains those conditions for two years, she will be allowed to replead to aggravated harassment in the second degree as a class A misdemeanor. If she fails to abide by the terms, Pancetto could spend one to four years in state prison, okay? Before I go into some more detail here, I wanna remind everyone of the systemic issues involved. If you remember, Soho Karen was in a hotel and she made an accusation against another guest. Well, in that accusation, she decided to become aggressive, violent, to physically stop a person's mobility. Well, the hotel manager decided to get involved by going after the black family, systemic bigotry. At no point did he say, wait a minute, this is a guest. You cannot talk to guests this way. We have security footage that can be reviewed. You make a claim at the desk. Nobody did that. Nobody from that hotel said you have to stop harassing these two black people. And one of course was a black 14 year old child. Let me show you how this is a systemic racial failure. Imagine if a black man lost his cell phone and he decides to go up to a white woman and a white child and start telling them you're not leaving this hotel room until I get a hotel until I get my cell phone. And then physically uh, stops their movement, runs after them, physically assaults the child, the, the 14 year old white girl. What do you think happens in that situation? Do you think the hotel manager comes up and says to the 14 year old white girl, or to the white parent, hey, what, what have you all done here to make this African American male so upset? Hell no, you know, no matter what your political belief is, you know good and damn well, that would never be the reaction of the hotel manager. Thus proving the issue of systemic racism, institutional racism, bigotry and bias existing and permeating in the culture for one reason, the color of skin. The color of skin. There's more to the story. 
Um, Acting Justice Laura Ward told Ponsetto uh, in the Supreme Court, uh, you have been given a tremendous opportunity. Turn this lousy situation into a good situation so you never find yourself here again. Ward also warned Ponsetto to have no contact with Harold Jr. or his father, who happens to be a jazz musician, Keon Harold, for the next two years. The last time she was in the Big Apple for a court date, Ponsetto told the Post that she wished she had apologized differently to the victim. I feel like I made a mistake, she said. Um, Harold Sr. took to his Instagram following the ruling with a screenshot of a headline and photo of Ponsetto from civil rights attorney Ben Crump's IG. In the caption, Harold thanked followers for their ongoing support as his family fights for justice and also said, and I quote, my son and our family deserve more than an apology after being wrongfully and aggressively attacked in the lobby of the Arlo Hotel. For Ms. Ponsetto to describe the unprovoked assault as a mistake minimizes the trauma that Keon Jr. continues to feel to this day. Harold explained his family not only blames Ponsetto, but also the hotel for not de-escalating the situation. And he finally closed demanding for accountability. Uh, the only way we can get individuals and corporations to change the culture of systemic racism is to hold them accountable for their actions each and every time. A clear message that this sort of abhorrent behavior would not be tolerated needs to be made, period. All right, uh, they have sued uh, Ponsetto over the situation. Uh, I think they need to sue the hotel um, as well. Why's thoughts here? Yeah, you you hit the nail right on the head that the hotel to me is the most responsible party because they're the ones that are essentially in charge here. Uh, They're the ones who set what the rules are for guest behavior and they're the ones who enforce said rules. And they just didn't do that here. They let this lady have free reign to go accusing whoever the hell she pleased, basically based on these people being black. Um, and she got to behave however she wanted. She put hands on people and nobody stepped in. And it's crazy, Dr. Richie, because you know, in retail space, I have friends that work in retail and they'll tell you if you you watch somebody walking out the store with an iPhone, don't touch them, don't follow them, don't do anything. You can see something like that occur. And you mind your business because once you go attacking people and all of that, they got free reign to do whatever they want with you. Um, This lady is absolutely lucky the amount of restraint these brothers showed um, in that situation. She's lucky that she didn't get her top popped (laughs) because of this, you know, and and the the hotel manager just automatically siding with her, the Mm -hmm. fake damsel in distress while just casting aspersions on these completely innocent fellow guests. Uh, It's awful and I would hope that they have to pay some level of recompense to those guests, man, because this is BS. Yeah, we're gonna follow the case, Um, as I said, uh, Soho Carrot has been sued, it has not gone to trial yet. So obviously there's going to be an update to that case pretty soon.